Man, you guys covered ground so quick. Ooh, that was a nice all right we are here today taking a look at a completely free-to-play banger by the name of deadly stillness now even for a free-to-play game i would say this actually categorizes more as a tech demo i believe this game was put together in one of those 30 minute game jams or whatever and the developer got enough feedback from it that he decided to put the game out on steam for everybody to download for free now i'm not sure if it's gonna get developed beyond this point but i figured we'd check it out there's essentially two maps Two different weapon loadouts, and all we do, very simplistic, go out there and blight a bunch of zombies. The game actually does look pretty good, but we'll talk about that once we get into the game in here, so let's get to it. Okay, so first things first, we get to choose uh, our character here. Now this to me, straight up, feels like uh, PUBG. Like, I'm not, I've never really played PUBG, I've seen a bit of it here and there though, so... When I saw this game in action, I was like, it's basically PUBG with zombies, which... I guess that's where the assets essentially do kind of stem from anyway. Uh, let's go with this fellow right here with the beanie and the skull, pirate, whatever. And we got a Scar, Easy, and the AKM Hard. So, the two weapon loads that I talked about. Well, let's go with the AKM, why not? Next. And you get to choose your map. Now, for this map here, we're going to go with um, 4K resolution. Once I do the village, I'm going to drop this down to 1920 recording resolution. Just because here, I could at least kind of very close stick to a 60 frame thing on 4K. Here, I'm like at 40 the entire time, so... There's a lot more happening in the village than there is in the highway. Uh, I was hoping for like a 1440 resolution. The game apparently only offers 1920 or 1080, I should, suppose I should say. 1080, and then from 1080 it jumps all the way up to 4K. There's no in-between, which uh, 1440 would have been nice, but it is what it is. So, it actually looks really good. The only thing that you should keep note of is that everything you see here is no surprise. Even the developer mentions that it. it's paid assets. So essentially all these assets are stuff that you could buy at a store somewhere. But it's a matter of what you could do with these paid assets eventually once it comes down to putting the game together. So, assuming this actually does, uh, develop into something more beyond that at some point. Uh, let's see, sensitivity. Let me drop the sensitivity down a little bit here. Okay, that's a little bit better. Yeah, I'm not quite at 60 here on the 4K on this map. I'm, like, more at 55. So there's a little bit of, uh, small jig on occasion there, which kind of does make these, uh, headshot aiming a little bit more difficult. This guy's down. I believe there's also places to reload as well. So it's even though the weapon, I think the weapon difficulty is just mainly about ammunition. So, for instance, the AKM here. Chances are you'll probably have to reload. It's headshot right there. Up, 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 up. Ooh, got my boy over here running at me. Oop, three of them. Nah, I should probably reload for that one. So everything that you've seen here thus far, at least especially when it comes to the zombies, should be very familiar. If you played your fair share of zombie games on survival zombie games on Steam, which, you know, unfortunately I have. It's part of what I do. I get a bunch of keys sent my way all the time, and these asses that I'm seeing here, quite familiar. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't be surprised if I've covered some recently that have a lot of these same similar zombies here in them. But the upside here is that the developer, at least it's a free game for one, so he's not charging you for it. And he's letting you know straight up, hey, these are paid assets. So, I don't know. Other than that, though, it does look good. I mean, as I mentioned before, I'm not really familiar with PUBG, but this does give me the entire PUBG vibe. I think I switched perspective. There we go. Let's see. So we got nine more zombies to take care of here. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to need it, but I believe those... Oop. I believe those right here are... It's the uh, trees are glitching out there. I believe those right there are ways to reload your ammunition. So we're like at 44 right now. Seven more zombies to go. It's a matter of where you put those headshots to. Oh, come on. I popped them into this guy's head completely. So what? Now, there is also melee. I believe I read that about five melee shots bring these guys down for good. We got four more zombies to deal with as well. So we're just about done with this level here. Now, this is the easy one. The hard one is the one that we'll do afterwards. And we got two more. One more. I'm not sure if we could actually go into places, though. I don't think we can. No. Doesn't seem like we can. But we are missing one zombie. So there's no more places around here. Is he somewhere down through... Oh, jeez. 
<laughs> it's like basically he presented his head for me. Just squat. He's like, just right here, dude. Do it right there. There you go. So we got through the first map, the easy map. But we did use the hard weapon and we did not need to reload. So there is that. Okay, so this will be the look here at our 1080 resolution for this map here. I mean, it still looks good. It just doesn't have the crispness that the 4K resolution obviously had. But as I mentioned, I'll try to give you guys a look at the 4K. It's just that the frames, unfortunately, at 40, 45, you know, I've I've gone from full console player to PC player now. So it's kind of like, oh, sub 60 frames do not want, cannot play anymore. I guess the problem here is going to make this difficult is that we have houses, so we could easily get swarmed. As opposed to the highway where we had those wide open maps for us to run. So before I pop in there, we want to make sure that we're not going to get swarmed instantly. Can I hear him? They're upstairs. I'm not sure they're going to come down, but they're definitely upstairs. There we go. I think I saw one momentarily. Keep pushing. I mean, if you guys can't get by, does it mean there's a lot of you there? Oh, he's down. I'm a bit worried someone's gonna roll up behind me. Ah! Oh, jeez! Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Any more up here? I doubt it at this point, right? No. Yeah, so the problem here is gonna be just not getting swarmed, essentially. As long as we can avoid that, we should be fine. I have a garage here. Any zombies inside the garage? Not real. Hey, buddy. Let me just go ahead and miss you every single time. Why not? Next house over there. I think we should probably deal with the zombies out here first, though. Thank you for lining your heads up together. This is very easy for me to take care of you. I mean, ideally speaking, it would be nice if we just get all of them to come out of the houses and meet me out here. But no, these cowards probably want me to come inside. There's a few right there. I apparently can't shoot this man's head. I just didn't like that shoulder at all. That shoulder needed to be destroyed completely. Any more around. Got the one behind you. And you as well. This house did have a couple more than usual. So we got 16 down so far. 32 to go. There's one dude. Right over here. I think I missed him. 30 more zombies to go. Anybody inside of there? No. Seems like a big house. Probably a lot of zombies in that one right there in the middle. Now the question here is, has everybody exited from the top floor? Seems that way. Are we completely reloaded, right? There's a couple more stragglers outside. I guess before we go into that big ass giant house in Haunted Hill. Let's go take out the small ones. Plus we got a couple of dudes out here as well. What do I need? Luck! It encourages zombies to come out of oh. oh. It encourages zombies to come out of their houses and come at me out here. Oh boy. 26 to go. Yeah, it's really hard to, like, once they get in your face, it's just really hard to put a bullet in them. A lot of them seem to be coming out of the house, which is great. This house still worries me. Yeah, because I see that. So I guess before I even deal with those guys over here, anything that comes out of here should be... You having trouble with that door, are you? Yeah, I know. It's a very hard concept to... It's a very hard concept to push away. Yeah, see, it's like once they get on you, it's really difficult. I guess you should probably switch over to melee at that point. There's zombies on in this house. I don't know. I didn't feel like a lot of them came out from there. But they could have just been the ones that were hanging outside to begin with, so... We'll see. Bad time to reload, but it's fine. We got... Perfect. Got this dude over here doing the high jump. He saw me, he was gonna jump over that thing all slick. Got him the dome piece as he was going up. 17 more to go. Keep looking at this house because I feel like they're gonna pop out from there. 16 more. So we're basically eh, one third of the way done. Or two thirds of the way done. Ooh, that was a close one. 14 to go. Yeah, we got the big houses too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got confused there. I thought this house was out. But this one we haven't cleared before. Oh, 
Man, you guys covered ground so quick. Ooh, that was a nice. Seven more boys to go. I see one in the porch over there, too. Which is the other big house. That one I think we haven't cleared just yet. You gave us three. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, you're still alive. Four more to go. I'm trying to avoid having to, you know, get the extra catch. My challenge here to myself is just deal with the zombies without never having to get some more ammunition. I heard you. You heard me. Three more to go. Now we got the game of hide and seek. Is that really for the top side? Well, there's actually one more floor up, too. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it's the other big house, though. Yeah, the attic's completely cleared up now. I think it's gonna probably be that other big house. Curious if just shooting inside the house to trigger them to come out. Oh, this. Another one yelled. I see him. One more to go. Are you in there, buddy? Oh god, now we gotta play this game. One zombie left, where could he possibly be? Oh, oh jeez! Can you imagine this last zombie killing me? <laughs> and there you guys have it. As I mentioned, essentially a tech demo, but hey, definitely want to keep your eyes on, assuming it does develop further. I'll catch you next time.